The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. So I've been with Main Roads for 40 years of its 90 year existence. I've been out there in the rural environment building and maintaining roads and uh, now I'm working with the overall 18,800 kilometre network around the state and trying to optimise the value of the spend, our $500 million spend each year, which is part of the $40 billion asset that we've got invested in the network. That's about 25% of the whole state assets, so it's a very important part and it's a vital component of, the, of what the community uses to get around the state. So as you know, we're in the economy downturn time because of mining. And uh, so our government needs to save money uh, in various places, but still delivering uh, the same amount of values to our public. And, and, and so what we're doing as an innovative project here is to uh, assure that we, uh, we deliver the same value for the infrastructure, but, but within the budget or even reduced budget. Well, Main Roads have traditionally been a very reactive organisation, uh, a, a bottom-up approach to uh, looking after the assets, and that's stood us in good stead in the past. Uh, but nowadays, uh, government and the community demand that we have got a uh, demonstrable approach to getting the asset right, the value for money approach. So we've got to use uh, better predictive models and systems to target the money on the basis of needs around the state. So that's a different approach and we've got to add that bottom up to the top down approach to give us the, the SMICO approach to things. The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre Project 3.4A Sustainable Asset Management has two research objectives. The first objective is to integrate environmental consideration into the decision-making system. The second objective is to integrate social impact of road maintenance activities in terms of road user costs into the decision-making system to help road agencies select the optimal maintenance strategies. Oricon, as a global consultant, uh, we like to see ourselves as a leader in collaboration and innovation. Everything we do at Oricon evolves around innovation. You might say, well, what's that got to do with research? Well, it has everything to do with research. We like to work with our key clients, such as Main Roads, you know, TMR in Queensland, and the universities to do innovative things. You know, we like to uh, make sure that we're at that cutting edge of not just technology, but also of great ideas. Word gets around universities, TAFE campuses, etc. And hopefully, you know, the bright students get involved and, uh, you know, come and work for us. That's well, one of the benefits, you know, that'll come out of it. This research project, Advanced Knowledge Concerning Life Cycle Cost Performance Analysis and environmental considerations, both from a theoretical and a practice-based perspective. In particular, there were three outcomes. The first one was a mathematical representation of environmental considerations. Secondly, we developed a computerized tool to integrate environmental considerations into the traditional maintenance management model. And this was the first time this has actually been done, which is based on cost and performance. And then lastly, very important to us, was we devised a standard to demonstrate the use of the tool and how the data recording and the analysis can be undertaken. One of the focuses with our strategic thinking in asset management will take us to places on the network that we traditionally haven't gone in detail and will help us to focus our attention on issues and problems that not only Main Roads have, but the whole community has. So it'll, it'll give us better value for money and it'll give both for Main Roads and the whole community, we'll, we'll see a, a change in the approach and we'll address some of those long-standing issues 
that everyone has in driving around the state. So I think it will be a great value to us in the future. So on a personal note, I got a young family, I got three kids, and I got to think about, you know, just like every family, think about our future generations. And our future generations, we need a, a smarter and, and uh, better infrastructure, obviously. And what we're doing today through our innovation is to uh, support and build a better future.